Hey everyone, this is Pharaoh Silver, the Pharaoh of Beer Money Finance, back with another video, and it is now time for the summer Q&A. Twice a year I do a Q&A right around July 4th and Christmas Eve. For July 4th, this one is going to be specifically beer money, finance related questions, and YouTube topics. The one in Christmas Eve coming up will be Anything Goes, within YouTube's terms of service for ad monetization that is. So I scoured questions over several videos where I inquired, and I'm going to go through them all right now. I had a lot of questions for this one, and if I missed one, let me know. We might do a follow-up Q&A. I had originally planned to organize them all together, and then stuff happened. So I'm hoping I managed to get everyone's questions, and with that, let's get started. We're going to start with Brandtastic07, who asks... Hey, Mr. BME, I have a question. What are your thoughts on using Auto Tapper and Clicker apps to get Atlas Bucks and consistent boosting while sleeping? So, Auto Tapper and Clicker apps for Atlas Bucks. I am vehemently against it because it violates terms of service. They also seem to have a very oversensitive algorithm that checks for these things. I actually have a couple friends who just use Auto Clicker software for other things, and they managed to detect it and ban him for it even though he's never used them for Atlas Earth. So, vehemently against, please stay away from doing this. I don't want you to lose your account. I want people to make money. I don't want people to lose anything. I did want to mention this comment here, calling me Crypto Luigi's strongest disciple, which is funny because I make fun of Derek all the time, not to mention, how many times have I mentioned that one ad was like one of the most cringe things I've ever seen? I have seen a couple ads cringier, but oof. That one. Atlas Earth's advertising has evolved a bit recently to become more cringe, but doing well with the editing and cuts. Like that Liquid Freedom ad, which I'm not going to show here because I don't want to lose viewer retention that badly. The Artist Bones 1930 asks, is joint by the Explorer Club worth it? First off, this isn't financial advice, but well, if you're asking if Explorer Club is worth it in comparison to, say, buying a parcel package, then yes, absolutely. You can get double, at times triple the value that you would for your money with an Explorer Club subscription as of right now compared to buying a parcel package, even from the browser, let alone the Google or Apple stores. Now, if you're asking if it's worth it overall, I will never advise a soul to spend money on anything. The only time I came even close to a recommendation is Bridge Money's Earn Plus, which I now officially rescind as of last month because of the constant nerfs going on there. If you view it as a game and nothing else, hey, go for it, do whatever you want, but if you see this as an investment, I'm sorry, I got news for you. It's not an investment. Zach Owen asks, how much land do you have and when did you start? So I started January 6th, 2022, which is about two and a half years ago. I did take an eight to nine month break for reasons I won't disclose here. So I'm a little behind some of the other early adopters because of that. But I'm currently sitting at 1,364 parcels as of this recording, sitting somewhere in the middle of the 3X tier. Ken Speed Hawaii asks, can US players travel to Canada and or Australia and buy parcels and get badges there? Yes, they can, but your phone will go into international mode, which means you'll be earning about a third as much and your ads will only be worth one Atlas buck instead of two, so you've been warned. Johan Mora14, and I hope I pronounced that name correctly, asks, is having a small account worth or is that not even possible on the same device? Internationally and US-wise, yes, it's going to take you a long time. I'm assuming you're referring to Atlas Earth. It is going to take you a long time, but if you give it a good four to five months, you'll find yourself making decent money by Beer Money App standards. I've talked with a couple of friends in Canada who are currently in the 15X tiers. I've asked them how they like it compared to other Beer Money apps, and they've told me they do pay out better than your typical video ad viewing like Microsoft Rewards, Swagbucks, like the very simple ones. Uh, but less than most survey sites, so about the same as the U.S., but maybe a little more pronounced and leaning toward the lower end of the payout bracket, whereas Atlas Earth in the U.S. does get a little closer to the survey sites in earnings. Heidi Chalfont asks, some towns in the U.S. are far apart. How far have you driven for the purpose of getting a new badge in Atlas Earth? Do you make a point of buying a parcel land in every town you get a badge for? So for the sole purpose of getting a new badge, this is a pretty tough one. Uh, it's between Western Carolina University and Kaloe from Asheville, uh, when I was on vacation there last fall, and Rock Hill from Kannapolis. I think if I check Google Maps, Kaloe is a bit further, so yeah, 
Uh, Chloe, it is. As for the second question, I do not. I actually have all but five parcels in the same town, Kannapolis, and I have no intentions on changing my mind on that until I'm ready to move from the 3X tier to the 2X tier. With that 250 or 300 parcels or so, I do plan to try something different then. I just haven't figured out what that different is yet, but I am planning on it. Maybe I might take the county surrounding here or something. I don't know. I know a ton of people have asks also, because I'm going to put this on the side here. Why didn't I take Charlotte? And the reason is I wanted to take Kannapolis early on and have a lock on the town. Had I lived in Charlotte, yeah, I'd probably focus on Charlotte too. But that city is way more competitive and likely to be a bigger target for whale players. 1,300 plus parcels is nothing to players like Stealth G605 who can put down triple that in a day. Kannapolis isn't as strong a target, at least to me, although, honestly, if he ever reads this, I might have just put a giant bullseye on my back saying this, huh? Well, the content's worth it, at least. Eric Blanchard says, how much is Earn Plus membership? So, Earn Plus membership with Bridge is either $52 a year or $2 to $5 a week. They let you decide. It is still a pretty good deal overall if you're focused on videos, but the problem is Bridge has super narrow cash-out windows lasting maybe even as little as a few minutes. And not just for the debit card, they do this with gift cards as well. Also, their gift card selection as of right now is pretty anemic. We're talking only having Apple, Target, and uh, I believe Amazon. Uh, they are rumored to be working on getting PayPal, so if that happens, then I, yeah, go for it. Just two months of ad viewing will pay for the year and two of seven days for a week. It was pretty solid for its time, and I'm basically just waiting on the payments. It's still a really good deal to use Earn Plus membership if you want it. Uh, I just, I don't know, something. it's just the cash out windows mainly with Bridge, so... Gato Elizondo asks, have you looked at Caden the app at all? I can't. I don't have an iPhone. I will be getting an iPhone as my next phone, however, mainly for this channel. I just don't know how long this is going to take. We're going through a bit of a rough patch financially, but soon as we get through it and we're starting to see the tail end of it, it will probably be time for me to get a new phone. So I'm going to say around the middle of next year, unless, you know, I get pressured to do it a little bit sooner, but... Yeah, I'm planning on an iPhone then, and as soon as I get one, Caden is first on my list to try. Cypher8310 asks, for the Q&A, what other YouTube channels do you watch? Okay, so, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and shout out a few YouTube channels. This is probably the only youtube -y question I got, so, if you watched my Christmas q and I'm still a fan of the Plain Bagel, Company Man, Deal Guy, How Many Works, and I forgot to mention Joseph Carlson as well. Um, I'm not really big on like individual stock picking, but I do like, uh, listening to like certain things that he talks about on the news and all that. I've kind of stopped watching Dave Ramsey and Graham Stephan though. The former, I'm going to be explaining why very shortly in my next personal finance video. Now as the for fun content, I've already mentioned Cam Sandwich before in the past, the guy who kind of inspired the math behind WWB video. And the upcoming Mr. Bacon's Big Adventure video I'm going to be doing a couple months from now. And possibly, and again, this is possibly Miss Monopoly. I'm trying to see if it's even mathematically possible for me to do that one. But yeah, anyway, uh, one more I should mention as well, the Board Game Sports Network. This guy is severely underrated with the work he does with each video with his Crokinole League that he's created. He also has 10 different characters he plays uh, amongst two games. Well, soon to be three. Crokinole Connect 4 and an upcoming baseball board game that I'm not quite sure at the time of this recording what it's about. And I even helped him with team names for it, uh, so he tells me. Um, eight of them are played by him and the other two by inanimate objects. I really like his content, and I might as well go ahead and just say, hey, give him a give him a subscribe and go check it out. You might find it real interesting. And as a side note, I want to mention this as well. I mention non-beer money content once in a while and try to keep it very math-based when I do because one, I'm a numbers guy, and two, I try to break mon the monotony in here. I've seen way too many finance channels just post the same old stuff over and over again, and when their viewership catches on, they'll run right into doing speculative stuff like altcoins or highly speculative penny stocks or something like that, and I just don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be the guy that's telling you you can be rich doing X, Y, and Z because honestly they don't work and it's just not in me to be dishonest like that. Uh, like I said, 
you can't anyway, not without a ton of luck. And I just don't ever want to mislead my viewership. I want my viewership to also enjoy the application of math and numbers into other interests as well. So, you know, one of the things about this is if you're not having fun with life here, I don't think I'm doing my job. And that includes beer money or otherwise. Danny K asks, when are you going to talk about Upland and why don't you talk about how to make money on it? There are way too many questions I get about Upland, and I'm going to answer them in a little more detail in a future video. But the reason, in a nutshell, I don't talk about them very much is because I don't recommend the app for people who are looking for safe, low-effort beer money solutions. At one time, maybe when they were like growing like gangbusters, but there is no definitive way to make money without a significant amount of effort on your part. Not to mention the company there have nerfed their game to literal hell and back. Look at my Beer Money Mania video and go through all the different nerfs they've made to the game. They've turned it into little more than an NFT trading shop where you can sell and buy NFTs to use in-game like microtransactions. And Upland wins either way because they just have to take a cut of it instead of subsidizing the community through games like Treasure Hunting, which they still have but is a shell of their former selves. I'll go into a little more detail in the future, but... I'm going to just give you that, and yeah, quit asking me. Project Zero Mortals 1, ooh, a Dragon Ball Super fan, love that, asks, So I get 150 plots of land and 11 badges. My family doesn't travel anywhere at all, and I can't get to areas where I can get badges, so do I just buy more plots of land instead of getting to 101 badges? Yes, just go buy more plots of land or wait for the parcel enhancement if you want 150 legendaries instead. A lot of that is going to come down to do you want an endgame or not, and I'll talk about this on the upcoming new edition of the Optimal Strategy Guide, which I'm going to have out late August to early September. And finally, Storm Raven asks, As for the Q&A, I would like to know if you can do some tips for phone farming. I'm doing some recuperating myself, so I have lots of downtime and a collection of old phones begging to be farmed. Also, I thought you mentioned an updated review of free cash soon. Did I miss it or is it still forthcoming? Okay, so first off, I haven't really talked about phone farming yet because I only have one phone and that's what I'm trying to do right now with the experiment is using only a single phone. I know that you can make more with extra phones. There's just extra tries with Raid Shadow Legends, for example. Uh, but I'm focused on one phone as of right now. I guess with my current beer money portfolio, I could sell everything to get an extra phone, but I don't know if it would actually be worth doing that. Maybe it's something I can talk about at the start of next year, if I should deduct the phone cost from the experiment. Second, the free cash review will be coming in the short to medium term future. Beer money reviews in general were on pause because of my injury, and I'm still not feeling the best with it. I do, however, have a Social Casinos accompaniment video in the can right now that features free cash that I plan to show later this month. Okay, everybody, this was a fun Q&A. Thanks for your questions, and if I missed any, let me know. I'll do a separate video, maybe even a short, we'll see. The next one will be Christmas, and yes, that one will be Anything Goes, and if you haven't seen the last video for it, I'm going to put it on the left right here. Um, so if you like this video, give it a like. If you want to see my current beer money portfolio for the month of June, uh, I have the beer money experiment on the right here with the playlist. And if you haven't subscribed to beer money engine, like the other 85% of you, please do give me a subscribe and I will see you all next time. This is the Pharaoh beer money finance, Pharaoh silver out.